Okay, uh, Lorraine had a question on how to use the central limit theorem. Let me give you an example. Uh, historically, there's an average of 16.27 minutes of wait time in an emergency room. Standard deviation is 1.32 minutes. This is all based on historic data. You make a change in how you gather patient information. Do a random sample of five patients. The average time is 15.82 minutes. Did you make a real change, or is it just random variation? Now, the, the trick to this is, Instead of just using the standard deviation, which was 1.32, then let me capture some of the other information. My historic average has been 16.27. Um, instead of using the standard deviation, I'm going to do what's called the standard deviation of the means, which comes from the central limit theorem. The way we do that is you take the historic standard deviation divided by our sample size. In this case, I said our sample size is 5. So I plug that number in, it's 1.32 divided by the square root of 5. Do the math on that, I get 0 0.59. Now this becomes our standard deviation of the means. Now if I were to do the, uh, go to Excel, remember, hey, welcome to that video. Just ignoring this, and instead of putting in my X, my just plain x, I put in my x average, which is the new number. So it's 15.82. Right here, instead of doing it that way, let me do it this way. I'll write it out first. x bar. And then I want the historic average. Then I want the standard deviation of the means. And I want true. I want 15.82 or less. Plug that in. And that would be x bar would be 15.82. Uh, my mu the historic average is 16.27. My new standard deviation is 0 0.59. Again, true. And now I'll kick back. 0.223 or 22.3%. What that tells me is that I have a 22.3% probability of getting a 15.82 just by random chance. So it's about a 1 in 4 chance. So it's tough to make the call that says, yeah, this really did make a change. Um, one last thing. Melissa, go Huskies. Thanks.